you know, I liked Revolution of the Daleks for the most part. And we had known for a while, or at least it had been rumored for a while, and it did actually pan out, that both Ryan and Graham were going to see the end of their time in the TARDIS. And even when I first heard that, I was kind of excited for that. Because I thought that Yaz was not necessarily the best companion up to that point. Actually, I, I would give it to Graham, and Ryan and Graham as a dynamic was also pretty good. Oftentimes, Yaz was kind of the dead weight, but I saw the most potential for growth. And I felt like she had the most direct connection to the Doctor. As much as I liked Ryan and Graham, their main connection was with each other. And part of what has held me at a distance with Jodie Whittaker's Doctor is I'm not getting that core dynamic that the Doctor has with a companion. That is honestly a big part of my hooking in and getting the Doctor in any given incarnation. And I've been missing that. I felt like I would have the best shot at that if we get rid of Ryan and Graham and it's just the Doctor and Yaz and Revolutions of the Daleks ended Ryan and Graham are off. Yaz traveling with the Doctor. I was really happy about what this could mean. And then... Fuck. Yeah, so they're introducing a new companion. A guy named John Bishop, who I don't know, uh, apparently from what people are telling me, he's more known as a comedian. Like, I don't really care what his background is. And, like, I, not having a background in drama is hardly disqualifying. You know, Catherine Tate didn't have a background in drama. She was amazing. Bradley Walsh didn't really have a background in drama. He was good. But, like, I don't want another body in the TARDIS. I don't care who he is. I don't care who the actor is. I don't care who the character is. I don't want this. Especially because it felt like we were setting up in Revolution of the Daleks to really dig into kind of the weird dependency that Yaz is starting to develop towards the Doctor. I was game to see where they went with that. It had the, uh, the possibility of retreading stuff with Rose and with Clara, but it's been long enough since Clara was gone. I was prepared to see a, a companion start to explore some of that stuff again, maybe go to a different place with it, somewhere other than Hellbent. You know, really having that not completely healthy relationship with the Doctor, I, I'm up for that. I was game for that. I wanted to see what their relationship would be, and now they're going to have to share the space with this guy. Great. Just f***ing great. <sighs> and I mean, part of the additional frustration for this, for me, is the fact that it, it it's a guy. So, like, it had not even, it literally had not occurred to me that with Ryan and Graham gone, it if it had le been left as just the Doctor and Yaz, that it would have been two women and no guys. That thought didn't even occur to me because I don't think about this cast in those terms. I don't care what the percentage of friggin' chromosomes is. So, so help me. And I doubt we'll ever know. Like, I, I would be severely surprised if anybody involved went on the record and confirmed this. But, so help me, if part of the reason they brought this guy in was because, well, we have to have a man in the TARDIS. No, you friggin' don't. Oh. And he's gonna have to be introduced and have all the stuff. Like, he's going to, he's going to take away time from the connection that I was excited to see develop. And maybe it still will after this guy gets established and figures out his dynamic. And maybe he'll be more of a sidebar. Maybe he'll be something closer to like Nardole was in Series 10. Around, but not as prevalent. And maybe they'll make it work. But just on principle, I'm really annoyed. And, and, you couldn't even do me the favor of having it not be somebody from contemporary Earth. Look, there was a template that they've used for the companions, or they did use for companions for a very long time. When I say companions, I don't mean every single companion, but I mean the primary companion. Because whenever I talk about, uh, you know, Rose, people go, and Mickey, Mickey, 
Mickey counts as a companion if you're being comprehensive, but for the purposes of like, who's the companion to the doctor, it's not Mickey. It was Rose, it was Martha, Donna, Amy. Yes, Rory was around, but Rory was Amy's companion. He wasn't the doctor's. Clara, Bill, Nardal, again, was around, but he was there because River told him to be there. So, these are the main primary companions. And for a long time, the template was female, conventionally attractive, young, from modern day England. Now, they kind of, they, they bent uh, the young part with Catherine Tate. But other than that, honestly, up until series 11, the rest of them match that. And arguably, they still have with Yaz, but at least, you know, they had, they broke the, the female, had to be, has to be conventionally attractive with Graham at the very least. I, Ryan doesn't do it for me, but I'm sure, you know, seems like a good looking enough guy, if that's your jam. But I, I'm, Bradley Walsh is not that bad looking guy, if that's your jam, whatever. But I've, funnily enough, it really wasn't the female, conventionally attractive, young parts that I was most uppity about. It was the From Contemporary Earth. I miss the days when the doctor just traveled and didn't have to keep coming back to Earth all the damn time. There have been various reasons why that's happened. Back in, for the third Doctor, his TARDIS actually didn't work. But what they've done for the modern era is to use the companion basically as a choke chain to be sure the Doctor always comes back and we do lots of stuff on Earth. And I know part of that ultimately is budgetary, that if they don't have to fake alien locations, they can use real world locations and it saves money. I understand that that's part of it. Seriously, just shoot it in a forest and put a purple filter all over it. That'll be enough. Get me off this rock. <sighs> and yet, and like that, that was another thing with Yaz. She seems so excited to keep traveling with the doctor and she didn't really feel like she had too many ties left here. I could see her as being the companion who was happy to just go and not even worry about coming back here, touching base with anybody. Oh, what about my life back here? No, no, she seemed like she didn't need that. Like maybe we could have just been out in space. We don't have to start every episode on Earth. We don't have to keep coming back for Earthbound episodes. Just out in space, having adventures. I thought maybe we could have had that, but no. Let's bring in another companion who's also from contemporary Earth, who I guarantee will be functionally used as a reason to keep us grounded on this damn planet again. Maybe Chibnall just likes writing groups more. I don't know. I don't care. Because, honestly, while as individual characters, none of them were terrible, as an overall dynamic, they never clicked for me. The fam didn't work. Even though I liked most of them, at least some of the time, they weren't actively bad. But again, I'm missing that connection. I've had such a hard time getting properly linked in with Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor, partly because how the Doctor relates to the primary companion tells us about them, and the Doctor hasn't had that. And maybe she still will, but it's gonna have to share time with somebody who, I'm sorry, I don't really care how it turns out, doesn't need to be there. And this actually really ticks me off. 
coming immediately after Revolution of the Daleks. Because I liked Revolution of the Daleks. It made me excited for Series 13. And I'm not going to say this has completely killed my enthusiasm. I will calm down by the time the thing starts airing, I'm sure. But right now, it felt like, you know... Somebody just doused my birthday cake with water to put the candles on and just ruined the whole thing. That, that was a weird metaphor. I don't know. I'm done. I'm annoyed. I went from really happy to really annoyed. Yay! Welcome to fandom. So, yeah. John Bishop, or whatever the flip his name is. What do you think about this casting or the addition of a companion? Am I overreacting? I, I like I accept that I'm overreacting. I accept that this is pushing a particular button for me and something that like I have been harping on for a while. So I'm I I let's just assume I'm overreacting. Do you share any any amount of my sentiment, even if not to the degree that I've decided to take it? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. I have a Patreon. That is how I pay my bills and is, in fact, what keeps me fed. Uh, any amount you're able to donate helps, but even if you can't, like, share, subscribe, they all help me out. You don't have to do any of it, though. We take a relaxed attitude around here. So, you can come on back next time you need a break. <laughs>